Hey yo! Welcome back to the Dugget and Beyond. So I got a little um, easy snack here. It's very low calorie, I think, maybe. Um, but it's basically homemade pizza on a very um, small piece of bread. I usually take also um, English English um, English bread, the circle circular ones that come in like this, and you usually open them up. And um, yeah, then we have cheese here. It's only this one's only 90 calories. Mozzarella. I've used uh, before like uh, four cheese blend, Mexican blend, whatever you want, whatever's in your fridge, whatever, and sauce. Um, yes, I did have this in a container earlier, and I do have. I'm mean, gonna actually just do this because I forgot that I closed a lot more into this than I thought I did in the first place. Um, and so I could open it up without actually spilling anything on this, which now I can now that it's all out. Um, but yeah, there's a whole lot of it last time. Uh, real fast, and I just got it all there. But uh, yeah, it's a very easy thing to do. Um, takes five minutes or so. And honestly, some of the longest part is actually the heating up of it. So this regular tomato sauce here, I can actually open it up when I put it in. But you just take it, take a handful or spoonful, whatever, and you just drop it on. This might be, this will be probably good enough for this one side. Again, this is so easy to make. I've actually had times where I didn't even want to microwave stuff. So me doing this is sometimes kind of like, wow, you can actually do something and you want to put stuff together. I don't, yeah, this is, um, I'm pretty sure actually this had no salt in it, which I'm kind of surprised about, but I don't know where the salt is. So, um, Hey, that's not going on. Um, but it, I had this uh, the other day with this sauce and it tasted pretty good. And yeah, so that's done. Literally halfway, done, like a third done. I should probably just clean that up now because that is just gonna smear all over the counter here. Mm -hmm. So the good thing I'm using this now is I can actually close it up without, without it. Um, Spear over everywhere next time. Then you take a thing of cheese here. Um, open this up. Nice shredded cheese. I got 90, 90 calories right there. Uh, how many servings? Eight servings in this, so not too bad. I again, I don't really measure stuff as as if you if you ever watch where Ramsey. Cook, he says, real, real chefs don't um, don't measure. I'm a real chef, but I still don't measure, so I don't know what that means and uh, what that want, what you want to take from them that. But yeah, this is easy. Actually, I'm kind of liking this a little bit easier. You can s spread out on the uh, English English bread, English muffins. That's what they are, English muffins. It's kind of obviously circle, so you kind of just plump it on and have to do that. But yeah, this is. As you see, just a little bit more there. Spread that out here. Again, you're at home. You're doing this to yourself. You don't need gloves. It's so it's so easy. It took it's. I think the longest part that for this that takes me is the actual heating up and then getting it cooked, which I use a conventional oven. Um, I'm sure you can use a toaster if you flip it on its side. Um, but yeah, that's oh wow. This is. I'm making more of a mess this than I thought. I've never actually made this much of a mess before. Granted, I've had tomato in the actual bottle before the resealable one. Uh, this is like the first time I ever put tomato sauce into a big container like that. I had have actually opened it last time with a can opener. Yeah. I am making an actual mess right now. Look at this sweatshirt. I'm gonna let this down. Oh. But yeah, if you want, this might be even more uh, than I would want on one slice. So I'm gonna put a slight bit extra on one slice over here. Um, I never worked in a pizza place before, but yeah, this is basically, um, over there. This is basically it, really. One, two, three. It took three minutes, whatever. Half was me cleaning up, which I never actually had to do. Uh, well, I really need crazy mess over here, but yeah, um, again, conventional oven, it's, uh, so, 
plug this in now. And uh, this is great because it actually has it comes pretty soft bake. Um, wait, oh, I want that off. I want that off. Um, it has so much stuff here for conventional oven um, bake temperature. So I'm gonna just plop this in here, slide that out, and I'm gonna take my handy uh, awesome pink thing. It's realizing this is going to take up so much of it that it's so easy to just come over here and you pop it on and you pop it in here and um, yeah this is if you want extra cheese left over if you want to put it on you can but I'm not going to get sick or anything from it uh, right here and then goes to, I do toast to this since you're basically making toast out of this. Um, so I go toast and it has here, it's again, I love the conventional, it's because also this company is called Cuisinart, Cuisinart, I'll put it in the uh, description. We've had this forever, um, for years at this point. It goes up to seven pieces, I do toast, and then there's two slices in there right now. Um, I, can, I usually do two to four depending on because you get obviously, um, you get one side of each, so you do two basically little pizzas out of it. So I have two of them, so I'm gonna go with three, so I can know I'm gonna get a good amount of um, um, to uh, cooking out of this. If there's four, I do five, and so on and so forth. So I uh, let that cook up right now. It says about three minutes, or just over three minutes. So uh, yeah, pick this up right after. Um, it comes out and I'll give it a little test and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, it's, so it's, so it's done right now and we'll go and take this out and don't, don't touch your hand on it. It is hot. Obviously it just got cooked. So you take it out and this is what it looks like. This is quite good. Again, yeah, it will be nothing sure you could, of course got just got toasted, so obviously toast gets harm. So I leave that I take I do um, plug it so it just has no electricity. But yeah, it's so actually I like the toast smell to it. I've never really had a toast one of these. I've always done the um English English bread, but it smells actually really good. Um but yeah, let's uh so I've yeah, it's definitely uh, I like it, it has the undercarriage too. It's a little nice. Um, yeah, so. Um, hey, I took so little time to do, so easy, so quick. Uh, I'm sure you can, if, you, if you're a parent and want to have a little snack for your kids, do a little of this. Um, have a little sandwich. Your kids can have this right next to them doing their stuff. But yeah, it's a quick, easy little thing to. To get them going through the next couple hours till dinner, which is you for lunch and stuff. So, yeah, um, yeah. If you if I think of any other ones, I'll definitely um, do this. But yeah, this was uh, again took me about five ten minute, five minutes or so. Half it was it cooking, and yeah. So uh, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.